Hello there, my name's Mark Hudson. I'm from England, Northampton, which is in the Midlands, 75 miles north of London. Now, some years back, it seems like forever, I went off to China and went from Beijing down to Hainang Island teaching in different middle schools and perfecting my teaching skills. It was a wonderful experience and quite humbling. From here, I moved off to the Philippines, where I worked for one of the largest international language centers that was Korean owned. Predominantly in the early years, it was just Korean students, but then they opened it up and wanted it to be more international. So we had Japanese, Taiwanese, Chinese, Vietnamese, even Iranian students would come to the Philippines, study with us. Here, I developed a skill in test training, teaching, test preparation. and graduated from Cambridge English Teachers Association and got certificates in how to teach CAE, Cambridge Advanced English Test, and IELTS, the International English Language Test System test. Those two tests are the two main ones that help students um, go and study in other countries or people who want to emigrate and work in other countries. So they're very useful test. IELTS is the main one now. There I did a lot of TOEIC training, TOEFL training also. So basically most of the English tests I understand and can help you prepare for. Whilst I was there, I also did a lot of work with interview training for airline pilots, customer service, banking and university interview tests. And then in 2014, I became interested in online teaching and was advised by one of my co-teachers to give it a go. So I joined Verbling, uh, but I wasn't too sure about online. Is it as good as face-to-face -face teaching? And by 2015, I was so impressed with the platform I was on. I became a full-time online English teacher. Here you get flexibility, um, you get to meet people from all over the world. So I now teach people from Brazil, Italy, Spain, France, UAE, all over the world. It's very international. Predominantly, my lessons are to help build confidence, give speaking skill. I'm using natural absorption. So we're not heavily focused on textbooks or grammar it's just about getting you communicating with the english language with this we can use some news files i'll do some reading so you get listening practice you read i check your pronunciation and we go through vocabulary and have a discussion based on that topic so it's topic-based learning with natural absorption but then if you want to study ielts we have set curriculum and it's more academic based studying interview training we have a set of files that we do work through questions that we have to work on but it is more relaxed than your strict classroom based lesson like behind me um, english lessons should be fun and have interesting topics so that's what i'm trying to do in my online lessons and I teach people from adults down to young children i have a good reading collection and predominantly do a lot of reading classes with small children. Uh, Oxford Reading Tree with Chip, Biff and Kipper going on adventures can be great fun for the children and they've got the pictures to look at. So I'm quite a diverse and all-round teacher. So I'd very much like you to join my online classes and I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care. Till our lesson. Bye-bye.